Uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, right now, I'm doing a uh, just a kind of a video of a uh, review of the remote desktop application. Let me exit out of here. No, I do not. Got my Twitter here. Uh, let me minimize this and minimize these. Uh, how do I do that? No, 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 no. Yeah, whatever. They're fine. Uh, okay, so yeah so yeah I'm running this is a Vista laptop if you can't see by the little search right there that's a Vista laptop so I am running XP on this laptop also it's kind of like a virtual machine if you say because if I can double so I can go up here and just do like this and yeah it's it's pretty much my whole computer right there uh, so it's like a virtual machine uh, let's minimize, excuse me, maximize, then minimize. And yeah, it's pretty much like a whole computer. This is very uh, uh, simple to set up. You have to go to remote desktop connection. So let me exit out of this. Okay. Um, so I'm completely only in Vista right now. I'm still uploading to YouTube. So let's do this. We'll go to remote desktop connection which is right there I've got a nickname RDC click on it connect connect type your password in and there's my whole computer uh, this is our uh, my home desktop uh, it's our my this is my laptop but I can also run all the programs that you can run on the lap on the desktop on the laptop so let's uh, hop into iTunes also want to add that this is very slow when you do this it, unless you have a jumpy desktop uh, it j I don't know exactly why it's like that uh, I couldn't really tell you but I, all I know is it's much much slower than my laptop like that, which is right here and very jumpy uh, I can also excuse me be doing something on this computer like listening to music if iTunes will open because my desktop is slow or our desk my home desktop is very slow this thing will load, 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 load. there it goes and also you'll notice that this is pink and I don't I don't know what's up with that can't really tell you so uh, yeah I got all the music on the desktop here and we can just play it. and see it keeps swapping from white to pink it's just it's very strange so let's go and um, I want to inform you that most of these songs are not mine. Yes. Well, let's uh, look up for a song. Let's go to Addison's music. Come on, come on, baby, load. Uh, it's completely running off the uh, opposite CPU and everything from the desktop. You do have to enable this, and it's not really that difficult. And also, you can see I can pull that up sometimes, but sometimes I can't. It's quite strange. Come on. It's kind of, it's very slow again. Like I said, loading. That's not really that big of a deal. Let's see how long. Recording here. Uh, three minutes. Okay. It's very simple to set up. You will have to add a password to your account. I'll post a link to the video I used to help me out. Uh, it's not really that that hard to do, but it does take, I mean, the intensity level I would say was probably middle, because it's not extremely hard to do, and it's not extremely easy to do, but if I said that it was easy, I'm sorry. Let's do a song here. Skip forward. I can mis minimize that, and also being using this computer, using this laptop. Wee, 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 wee. You meant to say. Okay. Let's pause that. You can also, I don't know, because I haven't tried this yet, if you can sync your iPod with this. I'm pretty sure you will be able to do that, because I can do everything on here that I can do on the PC in there. So it's that's pretty nice. Um, yeah. Besides that, uh, that's about it. Uh, let's open up Mozilla Firefox, which I'll open it up on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Hey, look. Twelve. Wait. Ten. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Look. Seventeen. Thank you. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thank you. Twenty-five seconds. Now let me go to my laptop. And let me open up Firefox. One. Two. Done. <laughs> so that just shows you. Um, yeah, it's this is also great if you have a uh, Windows XP computer at your house that you just like to log into it. it it's just very simple to use. It's already is pre-installed on Vista and XP, so it's absolutely uh, great to use. I find that iTunes, being able to look at iTunes and use iTunes is very nice. You can also use your already plugged in mouse, so that is very handy. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize. It's just pretty much like a, VM, a boot camp or VMware or something like that where you can run a virtual machine. Uh, there's my Windows XP. And yeah, this is also great if you have a laptop and you have a desktop that's plugged up to a printer and the printer is not wireless, which means you cannot print stuff from your laptop. Excuse me, sorry, laptop or your iPod or, or your iPhone or whatever and you can't do that well actually it wouldn't work for iPhone what am I talking about okay it's so only for your computer uh, and it's not wireless printer and you can't print anything from it and you're like oh crap I can't print anything from my crap you just log in to this thing right here and then you can pretty much print stuff which is really great uh, it's just like having the computer sitting right there in front of you and I'm almost positive you can do this anywhere in the world I would be th I would think yes there's no way you wouldn't be able to only thing about this is if someone logs in to the uh, to the your PC at home uh, if you're on a vacation or business trip or like a business trip and it's only you it wouldn't really be that pro big a problem you do your computer does have to be on and it doesn't have to be running it, the RDC on the computer that you're logging into, but the computer that you're obviously, when the computer that you're using to log into that computer has to be turned on, which that's pretty obvious. But um, besides that, that is uh, remote desktop. So uh, yeah, check me out at masterasm.com. Uh, uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll put the link to the video that I learned from in the side description right there. But other than that, check me out at masterasm.com and follow me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. All right, bye.